Hi, I'm Shannon Semler. I'm a senior from Bryan High. Who cares? Who cares? This, and this is for Maddie. This is a love poem, just not the kind you may be used to. Love is not always measured in stomach leaps or bright blushes. I met you when I didn't even mean to, and we bonded over celebrity crushes and TV shows that only we seem to know. We became tethered to each other faster than I can send you a midnight text. You told me that six months before, you'd wished on a star to have a friend who could read your mind and enjoy what they saw. I can tell you it is not hard to enjoy someone whose laughter paints the sun in the sky. The first time you called me, your voice was a radio transmission from a lost home planet. That's what we were. A pair of wandering ETs sending out feelers to find others of our kind. Humans with their noses in the air said you were unidentifiable and tried to feed you to the smoky, shadowy government of societal rejection. But still, you crashed the mothership into my life and I welcomed the symbiote you planted in my brain. It was a glorious reunion of Siamese twins that turned everything in the galaxy to gold. The citizens of Earth didn't quite know what hit them when details emerged of a sighting at the IHOP. Two girls in a harsh, unfamiliar world who found joy in giggling over an attractive comedian or two by sharing pictures on phones and all but ignoring their breakfast. One highly anticipated day, I saw your small Lincoln apartment, with boxes still unopened, bare walls not quite your own. I realized that my someplace is in a small bedroom with a bed of messy blankets and Jerry Blank greeting us from your TV, and the kind of warmth that only fireplaces and friendship provide. The sightings continue at Village Inn, Olive Garden, Barnes & Noble. We are shapeshifters pretending to be anything other than extraordinary trying on oversized hats and undersized backpacks with you in a secluded area of Walmart made me feel almost human again. I remember you telling me about those miserable pod people who dismissed you in the zombie pits that is middle school. And I knew then that they must have had poor eyesight because you're bright enough to put their dim bulbs to shame. Those with critical eyes, the ones who try to pick you apart and hope to electroshock you into their idea of normal, will never understand this. That your brave tongue cannot be cut out. That your brain is working on levels they cannot comprehend. That you will always laugh in the face of your attackers and never look back as you walk into the freedom you deserve. You are not afraid to be who you will always be. And I wish I had a fraction of the strength that takes. You are the sister who looks nothing like me, but feels exactly like home. So even though we struggle through the gray clouds of earthbound life, I will always look to the sky and see the everlasting star that is you.